very first, uh, what's, what do these calls, Tommy? Vertical Live. Vertical Live videos where we're here uh, at the ranch with my cohort in crime. Hi, guys. Uh, we're about to film uh, a snow video because we got like 30 inches of snow, and uh, that entails uh, a bunch of stuff because we want to take our K truck, the Acti, and see how it does in very deep snow. But we've got some issues, uh, and that's why we're standing here by this Polaris Ranger XP, the 1000 uh, cc machine, because we need to get the Acti out of the barn. That's gonna be fun because the barn is obscured by this white powder, which sucks. It was like, what would you say, like three feet of snow? The, the In some places, there. and it's really heavy too. It's not the typical Colorado snow, because whatever. This is heavy okay. East Coast, Pacific Northwest snow, it sucks. The yeah. other boys are here too, by the way. And so we've got uh, Case over here. Yeah, who, I was checking that your audio is working. It is. Who's checking our audio. We've got Alex, hey. who's actually gonna shoot the video. And we've got Tommy over there who's going to star in the video. Actually, you and Case are going to star in the video. Isn't that right, Tommy? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Why are you putting on a helmet? Because the lawyer said we had to. But yeah. this is fully enclosed. Yeah. <laughs> Look, it's, I, I, don't, I think it's... You don't make the rules? We're plowing snow, but we don't make the rules, Nathan. We're uh, right on the money. So when yeah. we say lawyers, we mean the Polaris lawyers, right? <laughs> we do mean the Polaris lawyers, yeah. yeah. Uh, they said that we have to put on helmets, so we put on helmets because it sets a good example for the kiddos. All right, so shall we, shall we head over there? Yeah, let's go over there. And these guys haven't started filming yet, so we're just kind of starting right now with the video. This is kind of behind the scenes, behind the scenes, guys. This is a double behind the scenes thing. Yeah. We've got 55 people watching us. Thank you, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. Yeah. yeah this, we're... this is really what we built this channel for, right, TFL Now? Yeah, <laughs> initially, when we started, we wanted this to be sort of the impromptu channel. We wanted auto shows, news, just the basics in there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I, I, this might be the next stage in uh, TFL Now. Yeah, going live and showing uh, how, how the uh, sausage is made. So you can see in Colorado, we got anywhere from like 20 to 40 inches, depending on where you live, of fresh snow. And depending on where you step. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we got about, I'd say we got at least a foot here at the ranch, Nathan. Yeah, uh, at my house, it's about 18 inches, and it's really solid, which is the really hard part. So in this video, we're going to be taking the K truck and hopefully pulling it out of the barn and then driving it over here and seeing if we can get it stuck because that makes for better video, doesn't it? It does. Now, yeah, I know you guys are probably like, well, why don't you guys just shovel it out, you lazy punks? And you're right, we could with shovels, but we're a car channel. And we like using automobiles to do things. We like using a lot of toys, don't we? <laughs> well, and also, frankly speaking, less effort from us physically is better for you guys because, well, frankly, we're, we're happy. Old and fat and overweight. <laughs> That's exactly it. It's the why, last thing you guys is want. Is that why we're letting the young, young, young guys do this video? Hell yeah! <laughs> Come on. All right. All right. You want to go show them? Why don't you go show them? I'll stand over here on the pad, and you go show them how much snow there is. Yeah. Okay. Which is a problem. Yep. Okay, here and we I go. really did wear the wrong shoes for this. All right. All right, go show how much snow there is. Okay, so I am six foot one. Am I walking totally through your frames right now, guys? Hey, Jan Dolajal, Yaksamash. Just saying hi to Jan from uh, the Czech Republic. Oh, hey, Jan. Ahoy. I, I said a Czech word. What'd you say? Hobichka? That's all I you said know. ahoy. Ahoy. Okay, he said ahoy. Come on, that's all right. Yeah, Hobie's mushroom. Hobie's Kerb guy's check. kissed. Kerb check. Huh? Kiss. So there's about, it's between two and a half and three feet high, but it's wide. So it's about three feet wide, that berm. All right. And, 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 and here are the boys discussing the plot of the video. So uh, a lot of video production is hurry up and wait. Yeah, it is. Now, if they really upset Alex, he will pull out a pipe and start beating them with it. He is from Philly. So we got people saying hi from San Antonio. We got somebody, uh, Salvador. Oh, sorry, be quiet. There. Yeah, you got to be quiet right now. Case, we got a great day because. Sorry. <laughs> blame your dad, dude. Yeah, I, I'm just yeah, standing blame, here. Blame us. If I look away, it'll help. I'm looking away. I promise. <laughs> uh, we got to be quiet while they're filming. Yeah, there's a ton of snow. Hey, we're going to travel 
our Honda Acti paint truck in the snow. The speeds of little guys are pretty good for an ATV, but first we gotta move this beast pile out of the way of the car. Yeah, we could probably drive the Acti through that snow, but we need to clear out that snow at some point anyway, so might as well do it now. And we're gonna use our latest tool. This is a Polaris Ranger XT1000 with the plow, so we're gonna give this a go. I like Hondi better. All right, there we go. That was the that was the first scene of the video where they're setting up what we're going to be doing. So we got people from El Salvador, from San Antonio, from oh, Fort Collins, this? Jeeps and EVs. Uh, we got uh, Yo from the Everglades, which is cool. I'm sure there are a lot. Uh, you know, I shouldn't I shouldn't wear a glove. <laughs> <laughs> That's what pockets are for. <laughs> I know you guys are yelling at me like, why aren't you wearing a jacket? Bro, I'm wearing t-shirts and one of them is a sweater. So I'm fine. Drew it's just my hands are the only things that get cold. Drew Carter says we got four feet of snow and we got four tornadoes in STL. What's STL? Um, I was going to say Salt Lake City, but that's not STL. I think it is. Salt Lake City. No, STL. It's, it's, uh, where, where else would that be? You guys let us know. STL. The new generation says yo from Canada. We got oh, Gordon Canada. Shunny from Arkansas. We got Double back again from St. Louis. Right, Canada, so, they probably got the boys are doing. Snow. Hey, I'm going to have to walk back and get my gloves. All right, why don't you want me to hold that? No, you got it. Oh, it's going to unclip itself here. Hold on. Okay. There we go. I got it. What's going on over there? I don't know if uh, I got We're, I we're watching got, Alex do his thing. I may have turned the sound off by accident. I think I lost the sound. You sure? Oh, it's there. Never mind. We got sound again. I thought okay. we lost sound. Yeah, all right. Okay, this is our first attempt. So, guys, if we're... Yep. Uh, no, St. Louis. So... Oh, St. St. Louis? Yeah, oh, yeah, that yeah. much snow? Yeah, that much snow. Sorry, guys. All right. Like I said, a lot of hurry up and wait. So, yeah, hey, you want to show them what's around us? Look sure. at this. Yeah, look at so this. So, we've got this little fog bank that's sitting over, and we're a little higher elevation up here than we are, say, in Boulder. I think we're over 6,000 feet, aren't we? Yeah, for sure. Um... So we got a little fog bank over the mountains going all the way around and we've got a little bit of wind creeping in. Um, so that gives it a little bit more chill to the wind, but it's actually not too bad. If the wind were blowing right now, I would say it's almost 40 degrees. That's what the boys are doing here for the next scene in the video. They're putting up GoPros. Uh, I gotta do a stand up here. Oh, Tommy, okay, do a stand up. I'll just stand here quietly. So this plow is pretty cool in how it works. It's beautifully simple. It uses the winch, 4,500 pound winch, to actually lower the unit. And you can jump out and use this handle to change the angle, which is pretty rad. Yeah, for sure. Cool. All right, we've got uh, camera ninja Alex there, making sure we got all the. Uh, B-roll that we need. Yeah, well, one thing you guys need to know about Alex. Alex, don't play. <laughs> All right, now Tommy's putting on his helmet, and let's see how he does. Uh, it's, it's fashionable, Tommy. It looks great, bro. <laughs> All right, there goes the GoPro being turned on. Tommy's doing his talking inside the cabin. I think, you know, I think he's got a heater and air conditioner. Let's cut the whole nine yards. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty cool. Oh, there he goes. I will say it's quite sturdy. All right, Alex in cameras. Just watch your back. Yeah, thanks. And let's see how this thing does. This is literally how the sausage is made. Once again, the reason we're plowing snow is so we can hopefully plow that out of there so that we can get the little K truck out of the barn. Yeah, I'd say the Acti's got maybe seven inches of ground clearance in the front, and if that. And you may be wondering why there's so much snow there. Well, there was a little bit of a problem when we designed the barn, and that is <laughs> we didn't realize that the snow comes straight off. It's doing well. There you go. Now, what's cool is that you guys will be able to see the finished work later on. So you'll have a different perspective of what's going on. All these people are like, hello from Placerville, California. Greetings from Fort Pierce, Florida. 84 degrees. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we appreciate that. As our yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. That's all right. It, the, for, for considering the winter storm we just went through, I'd say it's pretty warm. Uh, Vance Johnson wants to see you do a, a snow angel. Oh. Really? No, don't just don't enjoy you. You're going to be so wet. I, sorry, I, I'm, I'm not wearing a jacket, Vance. But I'll tell you what, Vance. Um, 
Yeah, maybe some other time. I promise I'll do it. Just not right now. Here, I need to get a glove. My hands are going to freeze. Okay, so. Hold on to that like that. Yep. Okay, I'll be right back. You, you got may it. lose me for a second, Nathan. All right. I'm this, need to get now the camera's in Nathan's control while Roman runs off to get some gloves. So you know what that means. Action cam! Is uh, Roman walking off with his mic still hooked up? Yes, he is. I right hope on. he doesn't use the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should probably talk to him about that. We'll find out later. For everyone who's wanted to see us clear snow out of a driveway, today is your lucky day. Well, there's, there's more to it than that. I mean, this is the new product that we're using, right? Uh, and it's Tommy proving that he can do this. This is good before marriage. You get to see Tommy in that goofy helmet. One thing about Tommy, he has no problem wearing a goofy helmet. Does that, does that have lockers and all that stuff in it? Uh, it should. Pretty sure. Does it have lockers on it? Good. Okay. I'll should take that as a maybe. Yeah. <laughs> we got a lot of side by sides. We had one. That, we had a Honda recently, didn't we? Still have it. Yeah. Oh, I like driving that one. That was that was pretty nice. Oh. All right. All right. Here we go. He's he's got gloves on now. You can take it, because I don't. Well, uh, <laughs> well you. You got pockets, Nathan. I, I do. Well, you got pockets too. I do have pockets. But you can't really use them when you're holding the camera. <laughs> so. Hey, they want. Jeez, oh, sorry. We're talking while they're talking. They want, they want to close up Tommy's helmet here. Ah, uh, okay. Tommy. What'd you say there, Dad? You got to come a little closer. Yeah, they want. They, they, uh, they just want to say hi to you. No, no, yeah. there, there we go. go. There we go. Good job. <laughs> there it is. We've yeah. never tried one of these live filming of Produce videos, and it is very uncomfortable. Yeah, it must be weird, huh, being filmed while you're being filmed. That doesn't give you an indication how dense the snow is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 we're spoiled in Colorado. Right. High so, elevation. Hey, guys, let's take some bets. Oh, All right. yeah. All right. So, you think that we're going to high center the Acti when they pull it out of the barn? I'm going to let us yeah. know in the comments how many people think it's going to get high centered or how many people think let's see how gonna... i put a big 10 on it it's going to get high centered oh you're saying 10, 10 bucks yeah. is going to get high centered okay okay now by the way this is uh not real money federal government I just, i'm not using money to bet anyway um <laughs> one of the things that um a lot of people don't understand about colorado is that we're known for fluffy snow you know that's that in march yeah, no, see, that's the problem. It's, it's got... Later spring means heavy, horrible snow. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'm saying that because it took me about an hour to take my vehicle, which was in an igloo, essentially, out of my driveway. And yet work was the easiest drive in the world because all the streets are totally taken care of. Yep. So far, about half and half. Half people think it's going to get high-centered, and the other half think it's going to make it through. Ah, uh, all right, well, we'll, we'll see yeah, what happens. I'll just wait out here. Let's, let's surprise them when it pops out of the car. Yeah, yeah. So, so stay tuned, guys. This is yeah. going to be an interesting little thing. For those of you who are just tuning in, we're about to see if the Honda Acti can A, get out of the uh, garage, and B, whether or not it gets high-centered, and C, if it tips over from the front and ro does a front roll. It might just come blasting out of there. It might. It doesn't, it doesn't weigh anything. But, you know, that would be you. You'd blast out of there. Tommy, Tommy's yes. much more... Uh... He's much more kind of nuanced. Yeah, I, he's new. Tommy, slam the accelerator down when you go, as hard as it goes. Oh, Case. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. that's a whole different thing. Yeah. I case, know, case don't play around. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, let's see what happens when Case comes out. I don't hear it yet. So they haven't started it up yet. Yeah. So Roman, is that is that garage heated? It is, but um, but we don't leave it on until unless we're working in it. Yeah, because it's really expensive to keep that thing heated like yeah, when we're look, not around. Look at the size of it doesn't this make thing. any sense. Yeah, the barn heat the barn is not cheap, Nathan. Plus there's yeah. no water in it, so we don't have to worry about yeah. pipes freezing. One of the things we try to avoid is bringing snow in there and goo because it doesn't, well, frankly, there's no drain. So we have to push it all out, which is kind of a pain as well. Hey, we're up to 128 people watching this live. Thanks, oh, guys. Far out. We yeah. appreciate yeah, that, let guys. Let us know if you enjoy these kind of behind-the-scenes videos um, because, uh, you know, we'll see if you guys like them. If you like them, we'll do more of them. 
They might be boring. I mean, right now there's not a lot going on. Yeah, I know, but I mean, have you seen how many videos are out there where some of our competitors or some of our friends will just let something run for seven hours? And to me, that's insane. But then again, I'm married, so sitting in front of a TV or a phone and for seven hours makes sense. Uh, people like it. They're saying they're here for uh, the live loopers. <laughs> well, that's definitely yeah, going to happen. I'll get one right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I it's, guess they... Why don't? Why didn't they like plow more? Why did they leave that? Uh, well, because it was really he, well. Tommy was worried about rubbing up against the side of the building. You oh. know, he's really worried about that. Oh, I and, see. Well, imagine you would not let him live that down if he did. No, <coughs> so it's still a two-foot berm widthwise, and it's very thick and solid. You saw Case standing on it, and that's the problem. This is pretty solid. If it was powder, I'd just say blow right through it. But I don't know. Maybe, um, maybe not. And the poor guys are trying to film as, as we're yapping outside. So, <laughs> anybody worried, wondering about what's in that garage? Because I clearly see a fascinating yellow creature right there. Thank you, Roman, for buying. Oh yeah, that's gonna be, uh, uh, we're doing something different with that yellow yeah. creature. All right, all right, here, here comes Tom. All right, here we go. Okay. Far back. This is as far back as we can go. Yeah. yeah, he might come flying out and not have any brakes. Yeah. Well, we don't want to be in the shot. Those are what, 12 inch wheels what? on that thing? What side won't be in the shot? Probably. Doesn't matter. Uh, I think Alex is coming out. Okay. Yeah, there he is. Good. Right, we don't want to be in the shot. Okay, guys, stay tuned. This is uh, this is happening. All right, here we go. I mean, that thing is pretty light. It it is. I think I, it's like fifteen hundred pounds. I think it's between fifteen and seventeen hundred pounds. Oh, we gotta be. Yeah, okay, let's, gotta let's, be behind Alex. Yeah, we'll get behind Alex. We'll be behind the videographer. Sorry, dude. Oh, there it is. You can see it. All right, there we go. Uh, see, I'd be flooring it. Oh, that was too easy. Wow. Yeah, that really wasn't... Sorry, guys, you tuned in for absolutely nothing. <laughs> because really nothing happened. You want to have... <laughs> Well, the, the good thing is, you know that we're, we're not staging stuff. No. <laughs> Damn it, Case, do it again. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, but Nathan, now he's going to go drive in there. Ah, uh, this is going to be far more entertaining. Now, remember, the Acti has four, is it real-time four-wheel drive? Yeah, all-time, all-wheel so drive. So yeah. there's no low transfer case or anything like that. It's just four high. Well, that was uh, too easy. Why don't we do that with a Miata? Oh. <laughs> You know, if, if we're a real video production company, we'd pile up more snow. And yeah, then, and, then and make it impossible. Make it impossible and let it get stuck. Yeah. But see, this is the, this is what we go through. We really do try to be transparent. Yeah. And that's yeah. kind of what's happening right now. You know, people, when we broke that uh, Tacoma, you know, oh, people were saying, we're, you know, first, half of you were saying we, we, you know, we did it on purpose. You yeah. Know, we're saying that we're paid off by... Toyota. Yeah, yeah, I, that, that was a recent thing, and people are like, you know, well, uh, you're in the pocket of Toyota, they're actually funding this. It's like, no, not really, we're, we're, we're honestly not. We do have sponsors, yeah. yes we do, but we're, but we're not, the, our, none of the our, automakers. Our videos are what happens, happens. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of the deal. Yeah, especially when we're, you know, reviewing things. Like, this is kind of more of a fun video, uh, but still, you know, we're going to find out if a K truck is any good at uh, snow. It's going to be funny watching Case, who's used to driving a giant Cummins diesel, driving this thing. Oh, he's going that way. Oh, he's going to go the hard <laughs> way. Oh, this is good. I don't uh -oh. know if he's in four-wheel drive yet. That's Those good. tires it's, it's, are going to be it's, useless. It's four-wheel drive all the time. Oh, so it's always four-wheel. Okay. Yeah, there's no lowering. Oh, bust through it. There he goes. There they go. Brakes work. You think you'll get stuck out there? I don't think you're gonna get stuck. You know, oh, right there, no, but no. once he goes into the field, that field is uh, about a foot deep. It can always good. And it's just gooey. You can always back up and get a little momentum using the Nathan method. Well, you momentum is your friend, always. I think he's in first gear. Now he's in second. <laughs> and now he's getting stuck. Oh, you should have, you lost that momentum. <laughs> He's stuck now. Yeah, that's no bueno. He's going to back up. <laughs> All 
Oh, he's stuck. We, we might have to go get him with the Polaris. <laughs> Let's see if we can get out of that. <laughs> he's got reverse still. That's good. Well, you can always reverse downhill. Maybe. Yeah. Not exactly doing donuts out there, is he? Not really. Well, that thing puts out, what, 50 horsepower? Yeah, if, if that much. Nowhere close. <laughs> Nowhere close. 25 horsepower, yeah. Alex says. Okay, so for what it is, I still think it's one of the coolest little things ever. Look at it go. Oh, he's going to go around <laughs> the barn. He's gonna get some speed up and come out this way. Well, maybe. We'll see how he does. And they were never heard from again. <laughs> I, oh, there it is. Look at him go. Oh, now he's got some speed. Look at that. As I said, momentum is your friend always. Uh, let's case try that. Uh oh, now they're stuck. Man, that poor little thing. <laughs> that is pretty amazing. It's just. It's like a little terrier. It's, like, yeah. it's just not going to stop, is it? Yeah, well, it's just, it's great. I mean, if you guys saw the size of the tires, medium like dinner plates. Well, medium pizza. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, in addition to the fact that there's like almost no tread on those tires. It doesn't go very fast, does it? I don't think it could Well, even... it's really not built for speed. But it'll do like 65 on a regular road with really? with the wind going down yeah, yeah downhill maybe but yeah. not up here in Colorado I am impressed yeah i thought we'd be pulling them out i'm surprised they both fit in there <laughs> we wouldn't now, i tried driving in that with Andre before, and Andre's just too tall and I'm too fat. <laughs> the two of us together, it's just bad news. And it's a shame because I love small cars and trucks. Yeah, but I was hoping for some like burnouts and donuts. This is as good as it's gonna get. Well, this poor thing is being absolutely pushed to the max right now. Yeah, you can hear it. That, oh, he's, he's gonna make it to the top of the hill. That, he is Look at momentum. That. Yeah, he kept it going. Kept it going, kept it going. Now let's see how much speed he can get up going down the hill. Oh, he stopped. I don't know why he stopped. It, <laughs> uh, the door's open too. Yeah, Tommy got out for some Oh, reason. okay. Oh, no, Case got out. I think he was checking the camera. By the way, for those of you who can hear in the background, we've got a bunch of birds hidden in the tree behind us and they are freaking out. Look at it plow through there. Yeah, look at the little guy go. Kind of a, I guess you call that a four-wheel drift. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> that little Honda is awesome. Why can't they build those? Just Why slightly can't they larger. Sell them here? Yeah. yeah, slightly larger here in the states. I think they could, but probably the manufacturers have gotten in cahoots oh, with... All the know, safety requirements. Yeah, exactly. Because, let's face it, your legs and your feet are the crumple zone. So, uh, same on a motorcycle. As far yeah. as I'm concerned, this thing would register as a motorcycle, everything would be fine. I think it's warmed up now. <laughs> Considering you have, like, zero traction, you guys absolutely killed it. Is anyone watching? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I got 131 yeah. people watching. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. That was kind of boring. Uh, that was awesome! Come on! From where we were Were you? I was hoping for donuts, guys. A donut? It's, it's got a hard time progressing at all. Yeah. Uh, so, I think with hard steering angle... Oh, I don't know. Let's see what Tommy can do. Okay, okay. Is it donuts, Tommy. Maybe reverse donuts yeah. will work. Yeah, because that's, that's 
that was my second time driving this. I've probably driven it total a quarter mile now. But Tommy spent a good bit of time right-hand drive vehicles, so. Scandy Flick, they're saying, guys. Scandy Flick. Oh, yeah, sure. Scandy right. Flick. Scandy Flick will flip it. A Scandy yeah. Flick might flip it. Yeah, I... You guys fit in there together? Oh, uh, yeah. Shoulder to shoulder. Yeah. Nathan, you, you want to you wanna ride, ride shotgun behind the... You want me to go in the bed? No, don't. I'm kidding. Okay. But you could stand there. Like, That's about the only place I'd fit. <laughs> I think it would be kind of a bad idea, but, you know. They're asking if we're going to get one of the mini uh, Rivians, the, uh, what is it, the R2? R2? I absolutely love the R3. R3, you know Zach put money down on one when we saw it. Well, the R2, you can put money on the R3, you can't yet. Oh, R2, put down money on the R2. There he goes. Ooh, nice. Now let's see what Tommy can do. Tear up the snow, Tommy. Where, where does it redline? <laughs> Somewhere right about there. <laughs> it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> it's not an S2000. They're saying, no, Nathan, you might fall out, and I hate to see you in that uh, big boot thing again. <laughs> Thank, I appreciate that. I don't ever want to wear one of those again. Oh, there he goes. He's got some speed there. Oh, he, that's, there you go. That's a four-wheel drift, that is. Oh, he's going to try to come back up. Oh, Lord. Oh, here, Lord. He goes. here he goes. And he didn't make it. And he didn't make it. <laughs> He's gonna try again. He's gonna try again. Okay, let's. Uh, I'm gonna back up. Yeah, back Nothing up that I. It's not like I don't trust Tommy. I, I don't trust Tommy. See, no, he's, he's aiming for me now. He's gonna get more momentum than that. Is he gonna try to back up the hill? You think these things are meant to? You know. Uh, no, they're not meant to be driven like got, this. We we got some great ideas for what to do with this, right? Because we're kind of stuck with it just like this. Yeah. Now he's gonna back up. Holy he's cow. Backward. Yeah, because the it's weight, a wide berth. The weight is over the back. The engine is over. No, that's not working. So uh, you can lift these. Sure. Yeah. Sure. I think we should put ATV tire. In fact, this uh, this Polaris right here is looking mighty tempting. Why don't we swap the tires? <laughs> that might <laughs> that might not fit without a lot of cutting. Oh, I'll get over it. Oh, he's digging yeah, in. It's not working. He's nope. gonna try to back up. Oh, he gave up on that. Now he's going back up. I think he's gonna go down. The hill again, get some momentum and try to... I think this poor thing's going to need oil when we're done at the very least. Well, what's happening is there's mud under the snow, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so, so he's digging that up and he's, he's just yeah. making it gooier and harder. Yeah. Yeah. So when we first started, there was just pure snow, but now it's all mud. All right, he's going to come back around, but he's going to try it again, Alex. Be careful. <laughs> you he's want to show him how pristine the snow is over here on our left? Yeah, he's going to get some momentum. There he goes. <coughs> oh, he's trying to get some momentum to come up the hill. Yeah. Okay. All right, here he comes. Almost. Same result. And down goes Frazier. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so <laughs> I think we'll, we'll lift it and get some bigger wheels, bigger tires. I guarantee you, you put some real rubber on that thing, it will climb like crazy. Yeah. It's... Well, open diffs too doesn't help. This poor little thing. <laughs> it's a strain. Well, oh, I'm gonna make it up that hill. Up, oh, he didn't make it out up that hill. Swing and a miss. It also has no. Uh, no real um, grip on those, those dry rotted tires. Well, that's what I'm saying. There's, yeah. there's no, I mean, those things right now are hockey pucks yeah. and there's already no grip. Yeah. So basically everything that's happening for it is momentum. Yeah. That's why those tires are spinning like that. Here he comes. Ciao, Roman. Can't guarantee your safety with, uh, yeah, he's, he's, you know, I'm thinking maybe it's just not gonna work. Yeah, I think, I think at this point it's not gonna work. <laughs> This is awesome. Oh, he's certainly torn up the the field here. Nathan. Yeah. Here he comes. Here he comes. Whoa.
Anybody want to give the poor thing its last rites? Doesn't do a whole lot. <laughs> it does really good though. You just rev it at 8,000 RPM for minutes on end, and you don't go really fast, but you do get where you're going, which is kind of the K truck motto anyway. So. <laughs> about what we expected, right Case? Cool. Yeah, I'd say so. It's definitely a lot of fun in these conditions, uh, but yeah, these are these are some pretty difficult snow conditions to drive. Nice. Did we want to see how it compares to the side-by-side? -side? Well, you want to compare it to the side-by-side? -side? Or is it just not worth it? I, well, the side-by-side um, -side is going to kill. Yeah, this, it also has the plow on it. Well, you could take the Honda. You can go get the Honda and try that. You want me to? What do you guys think? See, this is we make it up as we go along. Do you want that? Yeah. What do you, should we add that to the video? What else could you compare it to? You could. 12 out. What? Another, you another want to get the Cummins? Big white, try Casey's truck in there? You, you want three of us to lift up the back of it or something and do something kind of funny? You want to get the huge truck? Yeah, you want to do the huge truck versus the tiny truck? It's a good yeah. thumbnail. Oh, they want to see if Nathan can fit. <laughs> God, you're so... Let's see if Nathan can fit. You want to try the I'm you assuming the seat's the all the way, the way back. Your truck's gonna get dirty, but if you want to take your, you want to take your Cummins, yeah? yeah. Do you fit, Nathan? Let's see if Nathan fits. <sighs> all right. All right. Now I am six one. Okay. When I'm wearing shoes, I'm not slouching. All right. There I go. Sort of, kind of. Well, it's you know what part of the problem is my feet. I wear size 13s, and in order for me to actually fit in here properly, it's very difficult for me to hit like the accelerator and not touch the brake. And then in order to hit the clutch, I've got to lift my leg up and hit the steering wheel. So I've already driven this thing, and as cool as it is, I just don't fit. I wish I could have like, <laughs> as we all do, three more inches, and that would be awesome, but I don't. But it's so cool. Well, if you want to do your truck, You want to do your truck? Uh, up, up to you guys. I, I don't care. You did thumbnail. You could do the tiny truck. Yeah, and bring it up here to the pad and put them next to each other. All right, go get your truck. I mean, they're both truck. white, so, same okay, little cab. So tell them what truck you have so they know what truck. Well, there's slightly more room in your cab. Here. Tell them what you have. Oh, I have me a 1994 12-valve Cummins with a five-speed. It's a truck that we put on our channels a ton. Oh, so it's it. not that great oh. in the snow. It's very nose-heavy, and the Cooper tires that I have are also yeah, not that great in the snow. It's but like, it should be at least truck. as good as the K-truck, if not hopefully Where better. All right, thanks, dude. Go, go for it. I think that's a good idea. But yeah, you didn't, I think it'd be kind of fun. the open with the truck. You can redo the open. You have to reshoot the open, yeah. Well, it's, it's cool because they're both manual transmission. They're both single cab. They're both five feet. Yeah, they, they, they both get the same gas mileage. <laughs> <laughs> they're both white. Are, are, you saying, yep. are you saying they're both deep? Can you hold this for a second? Yeah. Oh, that's I know, I'm covering it. I'm trying to do everything I can not to drop. There we go. Okay. Here. All right, do you want to reclip this before I give it back to you? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, thanks. So sometimes, guys, we have a full script, like ready to go, a whole thing where we block out everything we're going to do. Those are the bigger videos, stuff like this, where it's like we're taking quick, quick, you know, videos because there's an opportunity with the snow. Well, here's the thing. No plan. So, so we're kind of doing a bunch of videos this week because we did something good. We did something good, Nathan. For once. Yeah. So next week we lined up every single, well, almost every single mid-sized truck to do a whole bunch of comparison videos. So we're going to do a comparison video to see which one's the quickest, so drag race them, which one's best off-road, and of course, which one tows best, so we're going to ike them. So you want to tell them what trucks we got? Yeah, yeah. This is brought to you by Toyota. I'm kidding. See, because you guys... Oh, here comes. Hold on. Here oh, here we go. Yeah. You can hear it you can hear pretty it. much from Wyoming. Now that's a farm truck. Uh, that is a proper farm truck, that is. <laughs> Don't squash the Honda. Uh, <laughs> you smell that? What is that, Nathan? That is a penguin dying right now. That is like five yeah. penguins dying. Yeah, that yeah. is the smell of a cummins. Whenever he starts it, there's definitely a flower or two <laughs> that die nearby, too. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? Nothing, really. I just, you know, 
pointing out that there, it's just a little. You guys gonna redo the open? Or are you gonna do like what are you or gonna do? We could do a little uh, surprise. Yeah. You know, like, I mean, it wasn't planned. So we All right, do it as a surprise. Okay. So anyway, like, well, let's. Um, yeah, let's go anyway. Let's get out of here. For a minute. I don't want to go down there. Mm -hmm. oh, there you go. So yeah, so we got get this. So we got the taco. Mm -hmm. Andre is stuck on I eighty right now, driving back to New Ranger. All right, so yeah, um, so I'm just stuck in an I-80, okay. driving back to the New Ranger. He's in the New Ranger. We got the Tacoma. We bought that. The Tacoma. We also bought our Andre bought the um, Colorado. Colorado. So that's three trucks. Uh huh. They'll be comparing, but then there's more. Honda Ridgeline. Yeah, we got a Honda Ridgeline, of course, because people say we always forget it, but they're hard to get. Yeah, um, and we'll be able to use that for majority of the testing then, as well, which is great. And then, of course, the underdog, we got the Frontier. We got the Frontier, and what's cool is that I think we're getting the Frontier with the special edition. and Oh, and also a Jeep uh, uh, Gladiator. So six trucks, that's a big, that's a big shootout. Yeah, we're yeah. going to do everything we can to try to keep them together as much as possible, but we don't have that big of a team, so we're going to have to probably, you know, just, We're going to need just six creative. drivers just to get them anywhere. <laughs> Seriously, it's going to be interesting. Yeah. Hey, uh, Case, what year is yours? 94. What year is the uh, Honda? 97. Ooh, so the Honda does have an advantage. Yeah. It's newer. It's newer. Somebody <laughs> said in the comments that it would fit in the back of Case's truck. It would actually, I think, fit in the back of Case's truck. And I'm, I'm pretty sure his payload would handle it without a problem. We actually, with Alex over there, we put a K van inside a full size van. I knew that's where you were going. Yeah. I knew that's where you were going. But that was awesome. It was great. Who else has done it? Uh, nobody. I don't think I've laughed that hard at work <laughs> in a long time. That was, was the best video. It was at the time when he did it, uh, sh I was sick and um, I was watching it and I was laughing and coughing at the same time my wife thought I was dying. <laughs> it was pretty good. And that big dent when I pulled it out and I had to punch the roof back <laughs> to get it to <laughs> But it's perfect. Is there, is there even a crease? Nothing, Nothing wrong with it. <laughs> little tough little trucks. Yeah, well, uh, Alex. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Oh, I think I'm missing a camera. Huh? Oh, yeah. I think it's going to tear apart a field. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> well, I was hoping that we would eventually turn that field into a, like a rally stage or something. Well, that's the bigger one downhill. Down the hill, yeah. Yeah, yeah this one. This one, that's what? This Used one. for RC, a little RC yeah, rally. Go RC track, yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah. yeah. The guys would like it. Oh. And then Monty cameras. Guys, nice. thanks for joining us live. I hope you're enjoying this somebody's saying we should race to buhanka uh the buhanka is here yeah it's it's, it's, it's in the shed it's on the other there, side yeah. of that uh yeah yeah we, we um, have andre stored here i don't touch the buhanka without andre around i'm worried about tetanus first of all and second of all frankly it's his he like has a special thing where he Good. wiggles the key a certain way and then yeah then he's ready to go cool. well case didn't case didn't know he's gonna do this this morning do it in one time. They sync the cameras with the horn. Somebody's watching in uh, Tasmania, apparently. Oh, good night. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. I'm just waiting for you to say put a shrimp on the Barbie. No, I don't. I never said. Did they do that in Tasmania? <laughs> no, they no. put wombats on the Barbie. Wombats are cool. I mean, they're <laughs> they're kind of like angry gophers. Oh, right, there he goes. All right, let's see. This likes in the snow. Uh, Case did not leave that stock, by the way. No. So just say if you guys are wondering, yeah, you'll hear it. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you. I mean, it's doing good, but that Honda wasn't that far off. <laughs> Look at him go. He's just. <laughs> so, <laughs> I apologize, guys. Right about the time he's done, a redwood will be dead. 
<laughs> well, that looks bad. Yeah, I always going after it. Yeah. Uh, downhill, it's different. A little bit more weight. <laughs> a little bit more weight. Just a little bit more weight on that thing. Also open this. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna go around the barn too, I think. Or no? No. no? I know he's gonna go around the barn. Oh, he's gonna go. Oh, I see. He's getting a little momentum up. That was his cutting plan. Get some speed up. I'm just hoping there's no big bang, Nathan. I don't think the Cummins were known for their uh, snow RPM. hill climb out, out for where they. Actually, um, we have some really old footage of uh, Cummins flying through Pikes Peak. Oh, that's a cool shot. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. There we go. Yeah, he's going sideways. How important is it to you, Roman, that this ground not be torn up? We should have had that conversation before we maybe, started. Maybe, maybe, because I have a feeling that all the stuff we've laid out is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. There he is. Oh, yeah. All right. All right, yeah. I think it's an animal. <laughs> what? You, 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 think, you think we tore up the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not driving through that. <laughs> <laughs> the grooves are so deep that my Hyundai Santa Cruz will not go through that now. So I'll have to go through another way. <laughs> no, that's a, you're excavating. <laughs> I think it's hysterical. Okay, slightly different outcome. Well, yeah, maybe we got a little carried away not, not seeing quite how much we were digging through the snow. Oh, man, David's going to be mad. How much grass you guys are going to be. Oh, no. Uh, it's, it's not the grass that I'm, yeah. Catastrophe. <laughs> We'll get in there with the uh, with the bobcat. It's, it's, you, 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 yeah. you guys kind of demonstrate a difference between the American approach to trucks <laughs> and the Japanese approach to trucks. Yeah, it's, it was really almost untouched. Yeah. Just little grooves. <laughs> then you went through. No, wow! Holy cow! You have a rear plow. I've never seen that before. Yeah. That's did a it, diff plow. Did it at least look good. Yeah, it looked really good. You had yeah. a couple of moments there. I mean, I don't think you were really struggling. You were in first gear most of the time. Uh, well, I, I mean, I, I mean, when you come third. Did you really? When you were going, the last one, oh, the last, that was yeah. The third. When you were going sideways, it looked really cool. The snow flying, it's flying, yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah, yeah gophers, yeah. and yeah, it was it was crazy. Nice. Yeah. Coming this way, it looked awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, coming at us looked really good. Yeah. yeah. I'm curious what you guys think who are watching right now. It'll be interesting to see how much, how much of this is just snow kicked up, and how much of a. Uh, a channel. Did we build? Yeah. How much I of a canal? Of that, the road, right? That, the, the road is missing there. Yeah. Just so you know, Case. Okay, so <laughs> there was a road really, there. Yeah, there's no more road. I think we're going to have to have David come back. If David's watching this, David, I'm if you're sorry, watching David. this. I'm sorry, David. I'm sorry, David. I wasn't <laughs> driving. This has nothing to do with we Nathan. We built the road. It's technically my idea. Exactly. Oh, there it is. All right. Well, we'll let you guys finish up. Cool. Yeah. Can yeah. Code, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. Hey, uh, maybe I can ask these guys for help. Let's let's go over here. I'll show you. Oh God! I know. <laughs> you really gonna traverse this? Good luck with the balance. I have no idea how it I'm gonna so, do it. It was so it was so snowy and pristine when we started, and now look at it. So much for pristine. See what happens when you let a bunch of Americans loosen the snow. Well, you figure once it melts. Uh, well, once it melts. That is still going to be a channel. Well, be careful, Nathan. <laughs> yep, I'm working on it. Uh, so yeah, so I got, I got a question for, for you guys. So we had a guy. You know how we have the Ineos Grenadier? Yeah. Let me show you that to you guys. Yeah, let's it's have a look. Barn, yeah. So uh, one of our viewers sent us a ladder for it, which is so nice. So he and cookies. And cookies, yeah. Um, so thank you very much for doing that. And um, oh gee. 
And he took his own ladder off, which is sent to us, right? Yeah. And then put a new ladder on, which also holds a jerry can. Let me, op let me open the, uh, here, I'll, I'll open the barn door. There we go. So you want to hold this for a sec? Yeah, coming. Okay, hold it. I'll, I'll get the ladder. Where are you? So we didn't get the ladder when we ordered ours, because I think they're kind of silly, uh, because we don't have anything on the roof. Right. But some people like ladders because they look cool. Yeah. Yeah. They look cool. There's are also memes now, but uh, anyway, so it fits perfectly because it's the, you know, it goes like right there. Well, pull out a way. Let me show. So look at this. I have these preset mounting points here and then down here. So. But there's a problem. When you pull one of these off, right? Yeah. It leaves a big hole. And I think what happened was when he sent us the ladder, he didn't send us the grommets. Well, don't fall. I'm good. That, that actually fill up that hole. Ah, yeah. You see, so if, if I were to pull that off, which I could, I could pull one of them off quickly, I think. Let me see if I have the right tool here. Uh, don't mess this up. You're going to make Tommy angry. I have, I have this, but I don't have the little part that goes in it. And maybe on your right, one of the little hex things there. Those yeah. little, yeah. yeah. One of these guys, maybe it's the biggest one of them all. When they do, do these kits, do they ever think that humans actually have to pull these out? Well, the whole point is to prevent children from pulling them out so they choke on them. Well, they, I'm they, kidding, I have no idea why they make it like that. They prevent everybody from choking, oh, for fudge sake. You need a tool to get a tool. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Roman Micah. That is the best. <laughs> <laughs> is that even the right one? That's the wrong one. It's too small. Yeah, those are pretty big. Yeah, so that doesn't matter. Anyway, when you when you pull when you, when you pull one of those things out, right, the hole is bigger than the width of that, and so you, we've got the we've got the bolts to attach them, but you need some kind of a grommet that goes around there. Otherwise, you're going to get water in the door, and then you're going to get rust, and you're going to get all kinds. So if anybody knows like a grommet place that would have those without having to go back to Ineos. Well, any of us will sell them to you. I don't know if they will. $1,000 each. You think they'll sell them to you? Or, because I think I'm pretty sure that they have some sort of kit or you could talk to somebody there. Uh, I'm sure they have the kit with the ladder, but will they sell you those little grommets without the ladder? Possibly. Or wait a minute. So are you telling me that you can't just pull this bolt out and then use this as a mounting point? No, this, because that pulls out. And this whole thing comes out the and then thing comes out, you can't yeah. reuse that's it? One, that's one big piece. Okay. Yeah, I could show you, but like I said. No, I believe you, I, and I'm I sure I, I've I don't believe this, you too. This is, the one, this is the one that we actually used, because I, I don't think it's ever been out of here. So Tommy has a tool, but since he's filming, I don't want to go bug him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, by the way, guys, um, welcome to the small garage. Yeah, this is the small garage. Yeah, this one is, uh, this came with the property, and then we added that giant, uh, Hanger thing you're seeing out there. I'm going to try this right here. This is too small as well. What are they at? I found this. So oh. It's no good. No, that's the wrong one too? Yep. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I think uh, with that, we're going to wrap it up, Nathan. Yeah, yeah. We've got a few minutes there. So yeah. what do you guys think? I mean, let, let us know. Do you think this is something we should oh, do Bulgaria. more? Bulgaria. Look at that. Holy Bulgaria. Cow. Awesome. Yeah. Um, should we do this more often? I personally don't mind. It's just that we do get it everybody's way. I'm sure Alex and Case want to throw snow at us when we go off camera. But at the same time, we want to make sure you guys can see what we're doing. We like to be transparent. Yeah, and stay tuned for that massive comparison. Hey, uh, pick up uh, pa Palooza, Palooza, Palooza. Pick up Palooza. What pick up guys? Palooza. Should we call it that? That's a great pick up Palooza name. So. What do you guys think? Pick a Palooza? For our video series with the six uh, mid-sized trucks? I mean, that's something old men like us really don't get our heads around the whole Palooza thing, but you know, we'll try to make it work. Yeah, and then uh, while we got you guys, just I'll, I'll let you know what's coming up this weekend. Uh, we are actually doing a video part two of the Ineo series. Or is yeah. it part, no, it's part three of the Ineo series. It's the now. third part, I believe. Yeah, yeah that one, we took this uh, to Moab and we compared it to the Forerunner. 
That's right. And it, I think it was a really good video because, I mean, the two very different vehicles, but they're both extremely capable. And you guys all know the Forerunner, so it's, I think, a good benchmark. Uh, but we got a lot of stuff coming up. I mean, Easter then, Jeep Safari. Well, hold on. Let me oh, finish well, this. No, please, 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 please. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, on Sunday, we're publishing a video where we're starting our first Model T series. So we bought that Model T and we finally got it running. That was a whole to do. But Case and Tommy took it to uh, Walmart and <laughs> McDonald's, the drive through. Uh, so that's uh, coming up on Sunday at all TFL, of course. 109 years old, so even older than Roman. <laughs> it is, yes, a little bit older than me, Nathan. Um, <laughs> and then and Nathan and I do a, do a video uh, on Monday where we talk about the vehicles that destroy the planet the most. Well, Very out of our uh, wheelhouse, so, so, Nathan. Well, okay, uh, the ones that are really bad for the planet, ones that aren't as bad for the planet, okay? So just so you should know that, and that's going to be coming up soon. There's more. We have uh, coming up uh, this up next week yep. the 2024 hey, Kia in. Sorento, but it's the X Pro, so it's got the gnarly tires on it, and it's a little bit more off roady. And we're one of the few media outlets that really take it off road, so that's going to be coming up on that one too. All TFL and guys, what do you think? What should we do with our little uh, first generation uh, Subaru Brat? That video that we just did we, did, we did the same thing with this yesterday, Tommy and I. Uh, so uh, I don't know what to do with this, Nathan. The problem with these, well, the problem is that somebody, somebody actually uh, rhino-lined it. Well, I don't understand why you have such a problem with it. This looks like one of your running shoes. <laughs> it does. But, but look, here's the issue with this, kid, right? Uh. These first-generation brats are very hard to find nowadays. Yeah. They all rusted away, right? They were used hard. And look at the pristine interior on this guy. The interior looks really good on this. Yeah, look, look at the interior. Look how good. And it runs pretty good too, to be honest with you. No, it runs really. Look, look at the, the, the wood from the uh, plastic wood tree. Yeah, that's a petrochemical uh, tree uh, we, uh, that they sourced. Yeah. I, yeah, but these are getting very rare and they all have been abused and, you know, and then it's got, this, the coolest thing about it is it's got, look, you never find those, Nathan. Well, this is actually the, the from, yeah, off. this is actually built from the, from specifically to work with the Subaru from the factory, I believe. I don't know where the hell this came from. Who I think this is something you could order with it when you buy it. Oh, look, it's new. a Subaru on it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure well, it is. Well, it's a Subaru by, uh, look, by, by, uh, Snug Top, maybe? Yeah, by Snug Top. Yeah. Um, in addition, this one has, not all of them have this, but, I don't know. They're almost impossible to find. Yeah, the uh, the rear seats. The rear seat. I don't know if I want to. There it goes. Yeah. So the rear seats are intact. They have seat belts. Uh, those seat belts are, I'm pretty sure, aftermarket because I recall those seat belts being like basic car seat belts when I rode in the back of these in the 80s when I was a kid. Um, and yes, I did ride in that. And those are oh crap handles right there. Those actually come standard. Yeah. So you know, finding one that's not rusted. That's kind of, you know, in this condition is pretty rare. Yeah, and yeah, it is a shame that it's been completely rhino lined because it doesn't give us the option to remove the rhino liner. Uh, this stuff doesn't come off that easily. No. Uh, so, you know, I don't know if it behooves us to chisel this all off and repaint it. Throwing a coat of paint on top of it would be no good. So, so yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do with this guy, uh, but, uh, you know, it's one of those unique vehicles that uh, I just don't know what to do with. Yeah. Besides driving the snow. It's good in the snow. Um, and it can go almost 60, I think, on the highway. They're quite, not fast. Quite the eclectic collection, right? Yeah, we, well, we are very eclectic. If you take what's in here and then what's in the garage. Yeah, my, my stepfather's venue, <laughs> Tommy's Classic Mini. Yep. Uh, a 70s brat. Yeah. And, and of course, you know, a tractor and uh, an Indian's Grenadier. Yeah, yeah. Slightly different. But you know what they have in common with the exception of the uh, Mini? What? Unusual colors. Yeah, they all are kind of cool. I yeah. don't see very many venues that are red. So anyway, um, so you guys got a little bit of an extra tour around the facility. And in addition to seeing a little bit of behind the scenes, and once again, we were wondering if this is something we should do again. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, this is Roman. And Nathan. Saying we'll see you next time. Ahoy and ciao. Bye. Bye.